just like you protect me. And I know that you think you're the audience, but for a lot of these people, you don't exist. <laughs> Remember that coolness? Yeah. Back in the day, they called me El Extreme. El Loco, Faustus Green, Johnny Boy, all kinds of aliases. You know what the most favorite alias I have? Carlos Rodriguez. Because let me tell you, you get picked up by any cop, anywhere, FBI, CIA, local police, state police, and I've been picked up by all of them, right? Right? You tell them you're Carlos Rodriguez. Do you realize how many Carlos Rodriguez's there are in the United States? And it's not only exclusive to Puerto Ricans. I mean, you got Cuban Carlos Rodriguez's, Dominican Carlos Rodriguez's, South American Carlos Rodriguez, the occasional Mexican Carlos Rodriguez, Hell, you might even have a Greek Carlos Rodriguez for all I know. <laughs> By the time they finish looking up your social security number, they're so tired of you, they say, Mr. Rodriguez, go home. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got no time for you now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do? In times of trouble, in times when I have found myself in total confusion about this existence in the United States, I go back. Because I've won a lot of things and I've lost a lot of things. And what I really have are my memories and my dreams. And that's what sustains me. And I don't know about the rest of these poets and writers and why they do what they do. I know what I do, what I do. It sustains me. I never wanted to be famous. I just wanted to be heard. Somehow, and tonight, I feel very happy because I'm being heard. It's fall in Brooklyn, 1963. My mother and father searched Dean Street and Hoyt for their wild child. A turquoise dressed Martha and a drunken fallen angel, desperately driven by the tears of God. Donde esta mi hijo? Donde esta mi hijo? Que Dios lo protege. Where is my son? Where is my son? May God protect him. I've escaped from their world without so much as a violin. The first step as a runner in the great game. I'm aided by my babysitter son, Richie, who borrows me for the afternoon but doesn't say where we're going. Vente conmigo, cava. Vente conmigo, cava. Vente, Luis. Vente, Luis. Vente, Luis. Ven, ven, ven. Come with me. We climb ancient stairwells to an afternoon rent party, a Brooklyn Heights holiday. I spy mommy and papi from the third floor window. Oh, no. And my silence cuts our umbilical cord. As Richie. The Latino mind plays his conspic U.S. blues. His hands detonate a jet black bomb of a grand piano whose sound swims through the barren apartment, where the musical notes come like wave after wave after wave after wave on a sunny day at Coney Island. I'm scared and I'm fascinated. I taste my fingers sweet with caramels. Cherry blossom and almond scent of the freshly painted rooms settle on my seven-year-old body. I am seduced by the beauty of New Yorkian music. Yeah. Richie returned me home later that afternoon explaining as best as 17-year-old could that he had lost track of time. Richie, Ricardo Rey, Ricardo Maldonado, Richard Maldonado, the man who saved salsa and who today is forgotten for even doing that because Satan has overtaken that industry. 
because he went ahead and found God. Ricardo Maldonado, Richie Ray, he had started time for me. Listen to the words I'm speaking. I'm not black or white, Puerto Rican, dropping lyrical bombs at nighttime, jam with the flow. Of this word style. Que bueno son, pum 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 pum. Que bueno son, pum 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 pum. Que bueno son, son los latinos. No apologies to the masses. It's dog eat dog at your back. I'm coming to get you, coming to wet you, coming to slam you. I'm a word gangster. Back by my gat in the shape of a pen. Bang you, it's the jam I'm with. Riffing, tiffing, spliffing, dipping, dripping. I play you straight. I'm not tricking, stupid, wild, the immaculate. Dog patrol jam, I'm on the straight tip. Pum pum, que bueno son. Dum dum, que bueno son. Dum dum, que bueno son. Son los latinos. Ven conmigo para ver una cosita bien bonita. Yo vine a vencer el nombre del latino. Loose translation. Damn, I love being Puerto Rican. I love it. I love it. Oh man, I love it. I love everything about being Puerto Rican. I love, I love, I love. I love looking out my window and watching us all go by. Yo, get away from my car! <laughs> yeah! That's right, I'm talking to you! <laughs> See, he doesn't really know. He must not be from the neighborhood. <laughs> I got that car hooked up, bro. I got that car hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. You know what it takes to start up? Yo, man, you get in the car, right? And then you gotta put in the ignition, then you gotta reach underneath the dashboard. Then you gotta run over to the side and put another switch. Then you gotta reach back behind the seat, put that switch. And then you gotta turn over the, the, the lighter just to get the car motor going. But just to be sure, just to be sure, just to be sure, that's right, I'm watching you, just to be sure that you don't steal that car because you are some low life, junkie, doping, crack smoking, heroin shooting, cocaine sniffing, marijuana, well, not that bad, marijuana smoking. I put a big bar of soap from the Santero shop <laughs> hanging from the rear view mirror. <laughs> you know what happens then. <laughs> you see, he saw the soap. <laughs> oh yeah. I love hanging up by my window. I love it. I watch the whole world go by. Yeah. Oh my God. This is something you gotta see. <laughs> Alba. Now tell me, why is it that some Puerto Rican women, well not only Puerto Rican, why would a woman wear spandex when she wears 180 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> and walk in a chihuahua. <laughs> I mean, what's the significance of this? Why do so many fat women in spandex walk with chihuahuas? Is this some kind of psychosexual thing going on here? Is this how they control that man? Oh, here comes Frankie, your husband. Oh, that pig is walking a pit bull. Must be thinking of her. She is thinking of him. Oh, man. How cliche, right? How cliche. But it's true. It's totally true. It's totally true. It's totally true. Being Puerto Rican, in this country, it's like a marvel to me. Because, you know, we're the northern gatekeepers of that, that big supercontinent. You know, it, it's, it's just confusing to me. First they tell us they don't want us, but they want us, but they don't want us, and they want us, and they pick on us, and they don't pick on us. And, and I say to them, you know what? And this is not just to white folks. This is like to the whites and the blacks of the United States. Wake up! Can't you see who we really are? There's a whole continent. I mean, there's a whole bunch of people from the, from the border of Canada. Because, you know, after Canada, man, I mean, you got a few Latins up there. I mean, they're freezing. <laughs> they're not really, I mean, they don't know where they are. 